What's up cats and dogs against the boredom here and we are here with a new game for the channel one that I've put a little teasers on uh, on Facebook Everspace now I did a little bit of research on this as I do just about everything um, and this game looked amazing and everything that I saw um, options where are the options there we go that's Let's go with this. Uh, display mode window because um, I want to. Since I don't have the best everything, I'm gonna set everything to high um, because I think it may be it may it may be uh, screwing me over a little bit as far as the ultra stuff goes. And we'll see if everything seems to run a little bit quicker. Now that I've done that. Uh, this is my first time playing this game. Uh, literally, I booted it up and hit record. So we're gonna we're gonna see what's up. Let me move the microphone. There we go. I think it's a little bit better. Yeah, this is my first time messing with this. Uh, it looks amazing in everything that I've seen. So we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see what's up. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. Fred, would you like to start the game in first or third person camera mode? You can change the camera during gameplay at any time. Uh, let's start in first because I've seen that that looks really cool. Uh, game is best played with mouse and keyboard. When using a, a controller, would you like to play with Y axis inverted? Uh, yeah, uh, inverted if I'm playing with a controller, which I may do later. A lot of people said, oh, you can't play this with the controller. Something's it sucks balls. Something's not right with me. I'm having memory loops. This is interesting. There was a dispute. I was standing in the way of their plans. Uh, I was restrained. Shot with something. It's an interesting... Who is this? It's an interesting art style. It's not really animated. I managed to escape. That's all I can remember. It's still... some answers. I don't... I don't... Maybe somebody can tell me what the... The style of animation is here. It's not really animation as much. Holy shit. Okay, I'm doing stuff. Yay, okay. So pilot requires further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. Move forward with W, back with S. Yeah, I got that. Turn left or right using the mouse and up and down using the mouse. Okay. Gotcha. Strafe with A and D and hover with space. Holy shit. That just brings it that okay. The what the space does uh is basically it it moves you on I don't know what axis it is considered. It's been a while since I've done anything on this. So basically it just lifts you up on a three dimensional axis. Which is kind of neat. Uh, left control. I hover with space. Left control. What's left control? Okay. So there's your up and down hover. So that, that changes. Ooh, that is so cool. Look at that. I'm reminded of Ender's game. Um, when he's talking about what is up and down, you know? That is super cool. Okay. Uh, boost by pressing left shift. Okay. Gotcha. Don't want to waste too much of everything. Uh, from what I'm to understand, uh, they don't really go over these again. You have to basically go out of the game uh, in order to learn everything. So I've got to, I've got to try to commit shit to memory here. Uh, is there an alt? There's nothing for alt. Uh, so what we're looking at... Uh, what we're looking at... Left control... And then space... That's that thing. And then left shift is your boost. And of course you, you got your strafe left, strafe right... And then... Basically just your movement. This is how you move through stuff. 
That's pretty, that's pretty wicked. I like it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very cool. Reach the waypoint. Oh, okay. I got to fly to something. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I don't want to run into anything, so... I'm just trying to avoid hitting the rocks. Well, that okay. seems easy enough. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's behind me. Okay. The next targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. When how do you use pulse down, laser? Use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. So how do you okay. use pulse laser? Understood. How do you use pulse laser? Look, next problem by tapping one. Pulse laser. Okay. And then you got alright, so you use pulse laser and then nail their ass with some other stuff. All I did was use the damn whatever. Hey, what? Let's do this. Damn! That's pretty baller. I get it. This one makes you... Set a target lock before shooting so the missiles can home in. Oh, that's a Gatling gun. Okay. Okay, so that's... One, all right, so two, what is, I can't tell. Use MMB to lock target you're currently aiming at. Uh, oh, le uh, middle mouse button, I guess is what that means. <laughs> all right, and then fire secondary weapons with the right mouse button. Holy shit. Normally switch secondary weapons with two. Uh. Oh, okay. I don't have any. So I don't want to use the Gatling because that's garbage. Um, but this said you can lock on with that and then BAM! It appears as if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. Oh, okay. Let's get the hell out of here, I guess. Boom! And then we're in hyperspace. That is so fucking cool. Okay. Um, upgrade the sector scanner perk to reveal threat levels. And we don't know what kind of threat levels we're at because we have no fucking idea what's going on. Uh, there's my position. There's an unknown risk, an unknown risk, and then the jump gate. Okay. Well, I mean, shit. That's what we got, man. So, yeah. Let's... Can we go to this one? I guess it's six of one, huh? I, I'll go to I'll go to where that tells me to go. How do you? Uh, let's yeah, let's do it. Let's. How do you? Uh, select travel is F. Okay, so there we are. And As we're you can in see from your fuel gauge, a substantial, substantial amount, amount was consumed during transit. transit. Yeah. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. How is that a thing? Mineable fuel. Okay. Holy shit.
and you gotta let your thing charge back. Shoot the asteroid and collect enough fuel in order to fill your, your jump drive. That's fine. Um. You know what this reminds me of almost is uh, a movie I might have to watch here in the next week or so. And that is The Last Starfighter. It really reminds me of The Last Starfighter. That should do it. Remaining okay. well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. Okay. Fly towards the junk field. Located a container at some distance. Ah, resources. And a weapon. But you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself whether you want to equip or salvage it. Wow, this, uh, skip and switching actions. Holy crap. This is... Pretty, uh... Alright. Fast and reliable weapon, good range, but when it comes to dealing hull damage, you better switch weapons. Okay. But I don't know... Okay, so you click on it. So uh, it makes me... Like, the pulse laser is where it's at. Like, it's not... It won't let me do anything. Oh, there we go. Remove. Okay. Let's... let's. I'll go ahead and remove it. I don't know what that's going to do. We'll see. Because I have no idea of what's better. A pulse laser or a beam laser. Um, dropped equipment will be placed inside a container floating in space, which can be picked up again. Yeah. Let's just drop it. I don't want to... I don't want to salvage anything from it. Okay. There is an okay. outlaw ship incoming. Shit. Advance activating your weapon overdrive in order to prepare for the encounter. Where's the fucking... But I had something down here that I was looking at, and now I can't find it, and that's bullshit. Holy shit. But I dropped my fucking... Dude. No free weapon slots my ass! Resources are essential for crafting and upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. See, I suggest advancing to the next location. That's fine, dude, but the problem is, is I now I don't even have that fucking thing that I just dropped. This pulse laser? It said, oh, you don't have room to equip that, which is bullshit, because we had it on our fucking pulse laser, beam laser, primary weapon. Oh. Let's see. Hull damage per second, shield damage. Eh. See, here's, and here's where everything is, so... The beam laser is better at energy consumption, but the pulse laser really has better everything else. Uh, how about both hull and shield damage perfect to quickly destroy weaker drones? Um, damn, that's a that's a tough call. Beam laser. I thought I ejected that son of a bitch. Could have sworn I ejected it. Uh, where was it that I was in that allowed me to oh it's tab pulse laser uh, remove just drop alright 
I want to get the beam laser. Because it seems like that would be the thing to have. In my humble opinion. Yay, new weapon installed. Alright, now we got the beam laser. I guess we'll see if that really does anything. Um, Alright, hell with it. I mean, you know, that's my first time playing the thing. I'm down. Uh, how are we doing with fuel? We got fuel? I guess we're good with fuel. Alright. Yeah, so you travel to the next. And this is, now this is what I, I was looking at. Because I did want to get an idea before I got into this. Because um, I wanted to know if I basically had enough time to do uh, Let's Play on it. Um, within the near future, given all the activities that I've, I'm currently involved in. Um, I wanted to know if it was possible for me to do one of these in about 15 minutes or so. So that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Fuel 75. I thought I'd filled up on that. I may be wrong about that. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I'll go ahead and give my first impressions on this, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it looks kind of cool so far, I only went through the tutorial, and I, uh, that's basically it, um, I had read some things online about people saying, oh, the controls, I don't like this and that, I actually don't have a problem with the controls, I understand this was developed for VR, basically, uh, for Oculus, I think, so... I understand that the controls for the VR may be like you look one direction, but you shoot another kind of thing. I don't have a problem with the controls the way they are. Maybe I've got an updated, updated version and it's better. I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. I'm cool with it. It seems okay to me. Um, uh, we'll have to get into the, the nitty gritty of the game before I'm willing to give too much more of a, hey, I like, I don't like kind of thing on it. But my first impression is I think it... It seems really cool. It seems like they got a storyline they want to develop. And you're going to have to work for it a little bit. Uh, it does seem to me like they're going to rush me rush me from place to place. And it's going to be it's going to be interesting getting used to the controls. So it may take me a few times. Now from what I'm to understand, uh, you once you die, you basically get to spend the credits that you earned while you were alive uh, upgrading. Um, so... So that's going to be interesting, and I'm going to try not to die, because I, I don't want to die. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to get too bent out of shape when I do. And we'll we'll see what's up. Um, I'll text, test this new laser out, and see if we've got anything going. And, uh, yeah, I, I, guess, uh, I guess I'm going to leave that there. Well, hey, thanks for coming out. I'll catch you cats in the comments, and uh, let's play some games.